On this channel, we have talked about hydrogen fueled internal combustion engines a whole lot. This is a technology I really believe in. You see, if we could efficiently produce and safely store hydrogen, then converting the existing internal combustion engine cars into hydrogen fueled vehicles can give us a way to make the 1.2 billion internal combustion engine powered vehicles on our planet more green. I mean, most of us don't have the money to buy a new car. So if we could convert our old car, it would be ideal. So is it possible to convert any internal combustion engine to run on hydrogen? Well, let's get into it. So what is needed for your car to run? Air, fuel and spark. Easy. We are just switching the one fuel for the other, right? Well, no, it's quite a bit more complicated than that. You see, the properties of hydrogen is very different to other fuels. Some of the properties are good and some not so much. Let's start with the good. Hydrogen has a wide flammability range in comparison with all other fuels. This means that hydrogen can be combusted in an internal combustion engine over a wide range of air fuel mixtures. This means you can run hydrogen on a very lean mixture. The leaner the mixture, the less fuel is needed for an engine to run. This lean mixture will also lower the combustion temperature, which is really important in a hydrogen powered vehicle. This also means that a hydrogen fueled car should start easily because the fuel is easily ignited and that positive can really turn into a negative quite quickly. Having a fuel that ignites with very minimal energy can be a problem. You see, in your car you want the timing of each ignition to be exact. If the timing is off, you call it pre-ignition. Why is this bad? Well, when pre-ignition occurs in an internal combustion engine, it can lead to excessive cylinder pressures, which can lead to a catastrophic engine failure. I'm talking piston shot out of the block bad. This is one of the biggest problems with designing a hydrogen powered car. Then comes the energy density of hydrogen. Now hydrogen is the lightest gas in the universe. Hydrogen gas weighs almost nothing, but it has an extremely high gravimetric energy density. One kilogram of hydrogen contains a vast amount of energy, making it an efficient and lightweight energy carrier. So hydrogen is energy dense per weight unit, but it has a really low volumetric energy density, which basically means you need a whole lot of hydrogen in order to have a decent range on your tank. This brings our next problem. Yes, it contains more than enough energy for use and an energy source, but the storage in our cars will be a problem. Another problem is the injection types. So your car can have central injection, port injection or direct injection. Hydrogen works best with direct injection. This prevents pre-ignition in the intake manifold. Direct injection also produces the most power. Why is this a problem? Well, not all of our cars on the road has direct injection. It's a relatively new technology that the newer cars use. So if you've got an older car, you're gonna struggle. Now we can go more in depth, but I feel like we have our answer. Hydrogen for the internal combustion engine is more than possible. I mean, Toyota, Kawasaki, Mazda, and even Cummins are all working on it and building working engines, but those engines are designed with the properties of hydrogen in mind, where our engines aren't. So what can we do? Is there a solution for the remaining cars on the roads? Yes, there are many other fuels nobody even talk about. Porsche is working on an e-fuel which will incorporate hydrogen and other biofuels. But what makes their fuel different is the fact that Porsche claims that their fuel could be used in any car without any modification. Now I made an entire video on Porsche's e-fuels, I'll link it here and it's really cool so go watch it after this video. Then you get fuels like Volcanol, it's a meth based fuel and I also made a video on that and this is also a 100% carbon neutral fuel source. Now I can already hear people typing down below, just go EV. So why is this fuel source is important? Well, like I said in the opening of this video, there are billions of cars on the planet. Producing new cars also create emissions. So we don't want to just scrap everything and start over because it would have a catastrophic effect on the planet. Plus there is not enough of resources to build that amount of batteries. Plus there is the fact that most of us don't have the money to buy a new car. So it's super important for our planet to find ways to make our existing cars more green. This makes it imperative for us to keep developing the internal combustion engine so we can find ways to make them more efficient and then we need to find fuels that are actually carbon neutral. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. If you like cars, then this is the right place for you as well. I love anything cars. I love new engines, old engines. I love building cars. I even like motorcycles. I love like cars and bikes is my thing. So if that's your thing, this is your place. So leave a like, subscribe and become part of the community. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?